Hi, Mr. Ambassador. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we have a few questions to ask you, and uh, one of the, the topics of this conference, the main topic, is terrorism. So Spain, unfortunately, was one of the first countries to be hit by a, by a significant attack uh, several years ago, and we see as well that the global wave of terror has, has not gone away and it's only gotten worse. Has Spain learned anything from what Israel has gone through in the past, how to prevent, how to stop any potential attacks? Well, thank you for, <coughs> for the invitation and thank you for your question. Uh, we just have to think very, uh, very to the point of what uh, uh, is nowadays uh, challenging uh, Israel, Spain, but uh, I think many, many countries also around the world. Um, Spain, as I pointed out in, in, the, in the panel, has uh, for a long time suffered terrorism. Uh, we had homegrown terrorism ETA, for more than 30 years, hundreds of victims. Uh, we have also at the same time started, at the end of that period, started the wave of uh, global uh, international uh, glo uh, terrorism attacks. One of the worst uh, uh, was, uh, and still the, the, the largest uh, single attacks in number of victims was the uh, 2004 Madrid railway attacks. So we, we have uh, sadly a lot of experience. Also, of course, uh, sadly uh, for Israel has also a, a long experience in how to cope with terrorism. Uh, uh, what uh, Spain has uh, learned is that you need to have a comprehensive response. That means a comprehensive national response that will include institutions, society, uh, the role of victims is very important, but also a, a comprehensive uh, a response combined with uh, partners, international partners, and that is to say an international response. Uh, so you need a strong, united uh, country behind uh, the project of uh, government, uh, parliament, uh, uh, tribunals uh, against terrorism. Again, this means uh, for uh, combating, uh, preventing, and actually uh, uh, combating uh, uh, the, 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 the possible attacks that may happen. Uh, but this uh, national unity can only be achieved if you have a strong sense of legitimacy. This means that the society must be perceive that the, the, the methods and the, the way that the, 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 the response of the state is being carried out is in accordance with the, the basic uh, uh, the consensus in the society and also with the basic principles of, of law, of human rights, etc. Uh, one of the points in this, uh, one of the, 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 the avenues or the ways to, to also have a strong uh, response from society is the role of victims. In Spain, the moment the, that the, ta the tide really turned against ETA was when there was a, a, a few, a, a couple of very, very, uh, uh, very cruel uh, situations uh, uh, which resulted in the death of uh, a kidnapped uh, local councilman. And the, the, response of the, the response of the people was uh, huge. Uh, the role of the victims in humanizing the, the effect of, uh, of uh, the sad effects of uh, terrorism is very, very important. Uh, as I said also, the international uh, effort is essential. Uh, in the fight against ETA, the, the cooperation with France was uh, absolutely uh, essential for us. Uh, nowadays, in the fate, fate, uh, fight against international uh, uh, terrorism, we have an, an excellent uh, cooperation with uh, Morocco. We have, uh, uh, over the last few years, and even, even yesterday, there was uh, one uh, of the, these combined operations that prevent and dismantle one of these cells. And uh, also, we have to uh, know that uh, it is nowadays not, a, not only a regional phenomenon, it's a global phenomenon. So the wide international community has to uh, uh, increasingly cooperate. Uh, uh, even more so when we have a, have a combination of uh, sources of terrorism. We see that we have, for instance, those uh, uh, that are called the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, terrorist, uh, foreign terrorist combatants that may come back from uh, the fight that, uh, against uh, Daesh. But we also have at the same time what is sometimes called the lone wolf attacks, the homegrown uh, uh, international terrorism. And there is no way you can uh, fight against that without uh, um, uh, cooperation. Uh, uh, one of our partners is Israel. Israel, as I said, has a very uh, uh, strong experience. So there's a lot that we can learn from each other. And we are doing that. And how has 
disease terror attacks has it affected Spain's economy, tourism, uh, ties with other countries perhaps? You said you have really good ties with Morocco. Have your ties with Morocco gone up, economically speaking? I think that the, the, the economic effect of uh, terror attacks can be uh, uh, important, and uh, for, especially for some time after a, a very strong attack. But we have seen that uh, in Spain, actually, the last uh, few years have been very, very positive ye uh, years in the number of tourists uh, coming to Spain, no, uh, records every year. Uh, the perception that uh, uh, terrorism is something that you cannot run away from, no matter where you go, is, is there. Uh, of course, there are some uh, countries, some regions where that are more uh, in a situation of conflict or in a, in a cr situation of crisis where uh, tourists will refrain from going. But uh, I think that uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Spain, in Europe, and in other also in, in other countries, the perception that you have a, a, a risk of a terror attack is not going to deter, uh, 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 especially activities um, more can, that can be more affected by tourism, like uh, tourism, or even uh, uh, other other uh, uh, investments. Uh, and I think that the the, the, the word is uh, resilience. Uh, we hope we have to learn how to be efficient, but also how to be resilient. And that's why uh, all those uh, uh, ideas that I mentioned about uh, having um, a, a strong consensus in nas national-wide, but also international, is very, very important for this. Um, BDS is quite strong in certain areas of Spain. What is your stance on it? Very simple and very clear. Absolutely against. And when I say, uh, when you say your stance, I understand that it is the stance of uh, Spanish uh, institutions, but also uh, uh, not only government. This is also uh, seen every day, almost at the level of uh, uh, courts and uh, prosecutors. It is also in the level of uh, law. I mean, there is uh, uh, the, the laws in Spain are very clear against hate uh, hate crimes. And uh, uh, public prosecutors will and are constantly, uh, consistently uh, acting against any initiative that may involve uh, uh, specific BDS activities. And the courts are supporting this. This is something that uh, has been also acknowledged, uh, fortunately, by some uh, Israeli uh, government uh, representatives that have uh, have seen that we are fighting strongly against this. Uh, I don't uh, know whether this is uh, in Spain. I don't think that it is a, a, a stronger current than in, in other countries. And we see that uh, um, in many other countries, sadly. But what I can say is that there is no uh, uh, bro uh, uh, broad support for this. And there is a very uh, active policy of uh, uh, preventing and going against the BDS. Uh, 